The book of Ezekiel reminds us to seek out the Lord in dark times, examine our lives, and align ourselves with the one true God. Context. Ezekiel received God's word in Babylon, transforming him into a devoted messenger of God. Content. The book contains visions and prophecies for the Jewish captives in Babylon, emphasizing God's sovereignty and judgment. Themes. Symbolism, allegories, and powerful visions of God as the Lord of history and nations are prevalent. Message. Ezekiel conveys the importance of faith, obedience, and the consequences of straying from God's ways. The prophet Ezekiel wrote it approximately 571 BC. This date is accurately precise because this book contains more defined dates than any other book in the Bible. Key personalities include Ezekiel, Israel's leaders, Ezekiel's wife, King Nebuchadnezzar, and the prince. In chapters 1 to 3, God commissions his servant Ezekiel. He receives visions, and his message is to confront God's sinful nation. I am sending you to the sons of Israel, to a rebellious people who have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me to this very day, 2 to 3. Chapters 4 to 24, Ezekiel delivered the message of doom to the captives. He told several parables, one that compared Israel to an adulterous woman, 16, 1 to 63. He taught them that God was cleansing his chosen nation. Who have borne the penalty of your lewdness and abominations, the Lord declares, 1658. From chapters 25 to 32, Ezekiel condemns judgment upon seven particular nations who mocked YHWH, the God of Israel because of the captivity. They too would soon see their fate. These nations are Ammon, Moab, Edom, Philistia, Tyre, Sidon, and Egypt. In chapters 33 to 48, a message of deliverance and restoration is written. This includes not only the current nation of Israel but also the future of the coming Messiah, the Temple, and the Kingdom of God in the end age. In chapter 37, he writes the famous vision of the Valley of Bones. He said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, Funo, 37 to 3.